It's Bank Holiday Weekend and it is time for blood. This was fun. Enjoyed this last night. Uh, my Norse against um, Spleggy's Dark Elves in a uh, the first round of the Water Bowl. It's a resurrection tournament, so it's teams of two. I'm teaming up with uh, Jip and his ne Necro. Um, and we're in a team with loads of elves, so I'm feeling quite good about my s team selection. Um, I went without the Snow Troll, because that's quite. I like to play Norse that way, actually, to be honest. So I've got 12 players. Um, I've got a Wrestle Ulf and a Block Ulf, and then I've got. Um, a tackle, a berserker. I've got a leader thrower. So I've got four rerolls in total. I've got a sure hands runner and a dodge runner, depending on who I'm playing against. So sure hands if I'm playing against a strip baller and dodge otherwise. Um, and then a random berserker. So I've got all the positionals um, except for um, well, I've only got one thrower, but no, no snow troll allows me to have the two wolves in a one-one-five build with loads of rerolls. Lots of good fun. Um, I could probably have had the snow troll, but it's just it's bit of a pain in the backside sometimes. So anyway, good funds. Am I able to cause lots of damage without the snow troll is the obvious question and the obvious answer is yes, hurrah. Um change to blizzard straight away, so no um go well, go for it's on a three plus. Um so this was yes yeah, it started really interestingly. So he broke he knocked my guys down but only managed to break armor on two of them and only stunned so that was a, a big relief because Norse can easily lose their front line. Um, straight away. Um, so I set up here. So this is my tackle berserker, looking for a, um, looking to take out one of his blodgers to start with. Um, obviously he's got frenzy, so I needed to make sure that I still had the two dice after the push if necessary. So that would give him one assist. So I put my two assists um, in there. Um, but I rolled a push to start with, and then I double skulled and rolled into another push. Um, so this isn't exactly what I wanted to happen from the, from the from the setup, to be honest. Um, but not too bad. It's it's dark elves don't really want to get into a fight. They're not bad at a fight, but it, you know, not not as good at Norse because of all the fun frenziness. Um, so he caged up over here. Now I was quite pleased with this in that this guy here has jump up. So with all these people around here, my plan is to push this chap into this chap. Who can go here, and then he can jump up, block this guy to basically take out a corner of the cage, and then big fella can come round. Ideally, it would be the wrestler, but he was too far away to do it. Um, but this guy can come round and get two dice on and look for a pow on the on the on the blodger. So we'll see if that works. So before I do that, just move a few players round. Um, that guy was for the assist. Get the push, which is all I needed, um, and then. A bonus pow on the um, on the blitzer and a stun, and then stand up that guy. Bring in so this guy came in for the um. Why did he come in? He sort of came in to get out of the way actually. So actually putting him there would have been a better plan. Thinking about it, but he basically needed to stand up in case it all went wrong. Um, but with hindsight, thinking about it, I probably should have put him there. So, um. Put in there for the two dice, jump up and pushes, and then one dice on the second one, and yeah, that's fine. So now we've got the the route in. Um, if it goes completely wrong, then he's got a good chance of running through here. Um, but but that's all right. It's, it, I've got enough players back, um, and I get lucky and get the pow. But then he gets lucky and the ball bounces to his player. But this is interesting actually because now he's got the ball on a unskilled lineman um and uh, there's a there's a there's a common sort of thing sometimes that happens if the, you end up with the ball on the person you don't want to have the ball sometimes people think it's better to have the ball and not risk doing stuff with it um oh, I've, I've made that mistake before basically is what i'm trying to say um and it would be really sensible to hand off to a blodger um rather than keeping the ball with the unskilled person um this could have gone wrong um, but no damage was caused there. Um, he was able then to move the ball slightly up the pitch. Um, well, it put it into a cage basically, so that I wasn't able to. I wasn't able to get to the ball, so I didn't. I didn't bother. I just um, going to take out this chap and just make it really difficult for him, as, as difficult as possible, to make progress up the pitch. Um, Um, and then get the all uh, get the um, 
obviously strength four player in there to make it difficult again. Went for the foul with a plus two, got the stun, but um, got sent off. So that was a bit of a, a bit of a shame. Still no real um, damage at this stage. I've had one sent off. What did he have? He had. Um, oh no, that was my send off. What did he have? Just a just a KO. So no, yeah, no damage at this stage. It's a fairly fairly woolly game. There's another another one of mine. No, that was another one of mine gone on a KO. So then he went over to blitz this person and uh, had wrestle. So took it down there. Um, and at this stage, I would have handed off to the blodger basically. And um, so the He's got a rookie lineman on the ball, and I've basically got a blitz opportunity on the rookie lineman. And because they've got no skills, it's got a fairly good chance of even if even if the dice aren't with me in the in the earlier moves, I've got a good chance of getting the ball down. Um, so I did that first to cancel out this assist, um, and then just putting things a little bit safe, and then just a couple of bashes. And then was able to blitz through there, and I got a power to both down. I took the power, which is a mistake. Should have taken the both down because if the power had put him there, if the if the ball had bounced out and gone over here, then I only had it could have it could have been really bad basically. And he had a jump up, which could have easily scooped up the ball next um, next round. As it was, the ball bounced happily into a d decent place, um, and then I was able to get a person round. Um, Go for it's one of three plus, um, so I made both the go for it's, but then failed the pickup, which is also three plus, and the ball bounced somewhere where he could potentially get it. Um, still no real damage at this stage, um, and he manages to get the ball, and yeah, just just. So it's still not still not safe, obviously, but he has now at least got a blodger on the ball, so that's a, almost a bonus um, that the the lineman lost it. Um, so first damage, first damage injure a dark elf, uh, just a random chap, um, and then I'm going to try and get a pow here. But if I don't get a pow, I'm not going to reroll it. So that's double both down. He's got block, I've got block, so we just stare at each other, um, and then just trying to keep things safe back here. So basically, because they're elves and they can run wherever they want, um, I certainly wasn't going to overcommit. Um, this person can't quite score. I don't three, four, five. Six. So this person could, in theory, score with two go for it's and some handing off and shenanigans. But you just always got to be really careful with elves. So you don't overcommit. You leave yourself plenty of people back because they can just move over to the other side of the pitch quite easily. That was a random two dice pow at the end, and it would have been into a half dice. So lucky to get the pow and then manage to kill one of his blodgers. Marvellous stuff. Um, he uh, Obviously he can move away now. Um, he misclicked and so used the blitz there uh, by mistake. So had no blitz for this turn. Happens sometimes in, in computer form. Um, and then another injured um, another injured blodger. Um, so look, he's started to look a bit better for me now, especially if I can get the ball ball down, basically. Um, oh, and his on his so I wasn't able to get the ball down, but he was far enough away not to score. But then on his turn, he failed the dodge straight away, um, and I had a wrestle ulf uh, lurking, so that was a definite bonus there. Um, this was a error. What I meant to do, so just moving back. It's good to highlight the mistakes. Good to think about your consequences of your actions and so on. Um, so when I so when I hit this person, oh the reason I hit them, oh actually it wasn't a terrible mistake. So basically I pushed them to here so that I had two dice on the second block but then when I oh no that was, was going to be a mistake anyway. So consequences of actions. So I pushed here so I have two dice on the second block but my longer term plan was to push was to hit this person into the ulf um, so that the ulf had two dice without you need to use the blitz um, but that was over overruled by um, me deciding that having two dice on the um, second hit was a good idea but what I should have done was move this chap around to here so that I could have blocked to there and also had two dice on the second block that would have been better 
uh, as it was. So yeah, just two dice there, and then I needed to. So I brought the extra assist in to get three dice, and then took the wrestle. Um, and I've got players in range of scoring. Um, so I'm just going to go and pick up the ball in a minute. Um, made the pick up and then I dodged away. Two, three, four, five, six. Now that would have been fine. One, two, three. So I'm going to put someone in the end zone and score in a minute. Um, but unfortunately, he dodges and then powers my um, powers my ball. No, it wasn't a blodger. So yeah, one in three chance of getting him down. Um, and at this stage, my maths fails me. So I do a little bit of punching. Um, but one thing I would have easily forgotten on tabletop was that you can only throw the ball six squares in a blizzard. Um, and so I was relying on an inaccurate pass to uh, to get the ball. Um, to get the ball to the end zone. It wasn't to be. Right, but looking good. Lots of dead elves and me receiving at nil-nil. The ulf caught it, threw a rock, um, and then immediately killed another one of his guys um, and I was able to make a cage around the ulf which is always good um, and not a very good cage actually because he was able to sort of aim for the aim for the half dice um, but the blizzard was was that in fact a blizzard it was, um, no he just he just fell over um, so yeah I was just it just turned into a punch fest at this stage um, With me having the the numbers advantage, basically, um, he was able to get a two dice on my wolf again because he used jump up on the witch to take out this one, so which opened up the corner of the cage. But two dice, my choice. Um, so not playing particularly um, mega safe, but um, allowing allowing two dice uphill on my on my ball carrier. So I was feeling fairly fairly secure at this stage. Um, yeah, another injury on a on, a, on an elf, um, and then a proper cage this time, um, and then it was starting to get a bit messy. So he was able to dodge in. So despite the proper cage, he was able to dodge in and get another half dice, uh, double push, and then re-rolled into a, a skull. Um, plenty of players in base contact for punching time. Um, only a stun on that one. Um, and then a badly hurt on that one, but he used the apothecary. Um, knock that one down. And then blitzed this chap off the pitch using the frenzy. Um, at this stage, decided to put the ulf. I've got loads of turns, so I decided to put the ulf back here. So that did leave uh, an option for the witch to dodge through on a four, and then another four, and then two half dices for the surf. Um, so there might have been. I well, know if there it would have been a six up and then a, a one die, two dice uphill for the surf. But six of one. Um, we decided not to go for either of those and just did a both down anyway. No rerolls left at this stage, so we're looking fairly fairly terrible. Uh, that one manages to dodge into safety. Um, killed another one. I've never seen so many deaths on this one. Um, and it's definitely fouling time here. Should have blitzed with the, um, should have blitzed with the Zerker because obviously I had frenzy to take it down, fouled, and this at this point I'm going for the, uh, going for the pitch clear. Um, he had a chance for a, for a, again a half dice. Um, I've got a few turns left to to foul and generally bully him off the pitch. Um, use the ball carrier to surf that one, and then we've got one player left with. And basically two fouls to get him off the pitch. So use the big guy to foul um, and stunned. And then I made a terrible mistake here, and I didn't run up for the foul. So we'll see. Um, so I managed to break the armor with my seven offensive assists, um, but only stunned. So I didn't manage the pitch clear. And then in my last turn, I took the score. Um, so yeah, bit of a bit of a bloody beast, um, but a uh, uh, fun game for me at least. All good fun.